Yes. Anyways, <laughs> uh, the 2DS. The 2DS is the 3DS if you don't want to mess with the 3D slider. Yep, and it doesn't close. It doesn't fold. Yeah, and it doesn't close. Um, it looks like a, a slice of bread. Uh... It's an alright little console. It's it's the same thing as the 3DS. It just doesn't have the ability to close like yeah. I would like. That docks it a little bit for me because that means you don't have screen protection. Yeah, I'd put it um, B personally. B for sure. I loved I loved my 2DS. I, I adored yeah. it, but um I still have mine. Uh in fact I actually liked it better than the 3DS. But <laughs> it uh Oh wait, 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 uh we got this one too. Um real quick uh oh the foldable one it's yeah. the xl yeah um, um you know what I'm, I'm gonna see i'm gonna see if you agree with this i would put this 2ds in c and put the foldable one in b yes um the xl versions of those game boys are better than their original versions yes flat out one thousand percent i'm making sure so there's the dsis i'm assuming that yeah this is the 3ds okay yep. everything's organized again uh, this list did not come organized at all. Yep. So it's going to be a little rough. Um, there's so many handhelds. Yeah, Nintendo has owned the handheld market forever. Yeah. Um. Wait, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> all right, so we're going to... I'm going to move these up here because we need to discuss those in a second. But I, I did want to talk, okay. talk about the 2DS. I liked the 2DS better than the 3DS because i never used the uh 3d feature mm -hmm. um and because the 3d feature existed in the 3ds um the 2ds screen had a weird filter on it yeah that um you even if you turned off the 3d you couldn't turn off this filter that yep. made it so you could enable it in 3d i didn't know it existed until i held a 2ds for the first time and saw majora's mask yeah. in it and i was like holy shit this game's gorgeous it doesn't look like shit blended <laughs> a mix of challenge with randomizer similar category to nuzlocke but different i'd look into it but i don't really play much pokemon anymore to be honest i've replayed i've replayed the first few gens too many times um okay so here's where i'm confused chat and maybe you guys can help us um i see four different 3ds's here So this is the very original 3DS. I know that. Yep, that's the XL next to it. Yes. What the fuck are these two? Does anyone know? So hold on here. We've got next to those, we've got the original DS. And then we have the DS Lite and the DSi, I think, next to those. So I don't yeah, I don't know what those two there are. Yeah, so these are the uh DS Lite and DSi. DS and yeah. here's the original. Yeah, I don't know what those are those like extras or something that they put in 3ds xl 3ds xl is the second one i don't know what these two are let me these are different 3ds's i believe but let me look up the 3ds and see how many iterations there were oh it might be the wait oh the new 3ds that's what I was going to say. It's the new Nintendo 3DS? Yeah, yeah, because there is a new... Okay, okay, gotcha. So this, these two right here are the original 3DSs. Okay. Uh, 3DS, 3DS XL. This is the 3DS XL, the new 3DS XL. This one is the uh, regular new 3DS. Okay, yeah. Holy um... shit that's <laughs> yeah um, the new the new ones were just like more powerful ones yeah so the original 3ds i'm i would put in d i, I owned agree it. with you there. i it was a yeah, terrible I console it was flimsy and then the 3ds xl i would put i mean personally I, also in d but i'd go c i'd put it in c just because it is marginally better than its original variant yeah and then the new 3ds did you own one of these i currently own them uh um, what do you think of them i like them they run better than the originals did um the second analog stick is a little bit of a pain because it's just a little nub yeah that you can't really do much with imagine if you if you've never had one chat 
Um, imagine the GameCube C stick, but take away the stick part and just leave the top part of it, and it doesn't move. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> that's what you it is. slightly tilt, but it doesn't move. Um, yeah. That being said, like I said, they load faster, they look better. Um, there's more features you can have to it. These could play Super Nintendo games that they ported over, which were fun. Super Nintendo games are really fun to play handheld. Um, and yeah, so if anything, I would say the 2DS variant would probably be an A, and the 3DS would be a B. Gotcha. No, yeah, I 100% agree. I have no, like you said, everything I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. um, the original DS, I put in A, personally. I can't remember. Did the original DS allow you to play old Game Boy games? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Um, it was, and it was a fucking chonky boy. Yeah, it, I never owned an original DS. I owned a DS Lite. Gotcha. So, so you I owned this bad boy. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get to play the original like Game Boy games on a DS. Yeah. Because the DS Lite only lets you play advanced enough. Uh, I'm I'm putting the original DS in A because, the, and you know what, it would be a B. But let me tell you a story, chat. I when I was a kid, um, the cul-de-sac I lived in got hit by a tornado, um, and it wasn't like an extremely like strong tornado it didn't destroy much uh it ripped one tree out of the ground that was like old um but like small shit and stuff flew um i left this outside in oh, that no. tornado because i was like god i don't even know how old i was when i come out i don't want to sit when it came out i don't want to say an age because i don't want to be way off um but i was a young kid like i couldn't keep track of where anything was this thing survived that. Jesus Christ. It's it's light stopped working on the screen for a day. <laughs> and then it just worked. It <laughs> never went out the entire time I had it. I oh had this God. from launch of the DS. Until the uh the new 3DS came out and that's when I traded it in damn and it never went out this thing is a so, fucking tank this is the origin story of levi not being scared of tornadoes <laughs> i ain't scared no naders <laughs> literally he's not afraid because the tornado couldn't even destroy his game boy <laughs> oh man uh so wh how do you feel about the ds light because this is the only ds i never owned i did play on one though so the DS Lite, I had a lot of fun with. Um, a lot of my friends own DS Lights. I remember getting on the school bus and having the DS Lights playing like the little chat room feature where you could like, you know, draw and type to people that were nearby. Oh, uh, Picto um, Chat. That was also on yeah. the original. Um, but where like, you know, you lose the ability to play old Game Boy games on your DS, but you get a smaller, sleeker uh, DS that I, dude, I had so much fun with my DS. Like, I'm so sad that my original one broke. Um, I have one here that's my nephew's that he left here. I need to get the hinge fixed on it and replace a screen. But besides that, that thing still freaking works. So I would probably put it in the B section. Okay. I was overall. really happy you said B because I love this thing, except I have one complaint. It's What's too fucking small for my giant ass hands. <laughs> See, I haven't played one really since uh, I was a kid. Like I've messed with it that was one when I, I was a kid is the issue. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not the Game Boy's fault that you're just a big gorilla man. Uh, yeah, that's, that's fair. <laughs> All right, uh, so these were the, uh, this is the, I believe the DSi XL. Okay. And this is the Nintendo DS XL, I believe. Okay. Um, well, no, that's, it's DSi and the DSi XL. Oh, they, they both have yeah, the oh camera yeah, you're right, back. you're right, yeah. you're right. Um, um I did I never own played these. I did own a DSi. Um, so after I got my 3D or my new 3DS, 
Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to start collecting uh, as many of these as possible. It was like a year after I got my new 3DS. And so I've owned every single one of them except a light. Okay. Um, because it's hard to find a light that isn't broken. Yeah, and the ones that aren't broken are kind of expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, these were really cool. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to... I since you said you've never played them, I'm putting them both C because they're super thin. They are like so thin, and I think a portable console durability is super fucking important. But yeah. all in all, all of these, in in at the end of the day, are the same. It's okay. it's just different features. Um, all of these DSs. So like okay. even the ones you didn't uh didn't play, yeah, it's the same console. Yeah. It's the same experience, but I will say out of the experiences, the new 3DS XL and the original DS are, in my opinion, the best ones to have. Okay. Um, uh, DS Lite 2, if you're into homebrewing, because you can turn this into a Game Boy macro. Yes, you can. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know what this is. Uh, is this that one of the Game & Watches? The, that is the Zelda Game & Watch, I believe. Um, so that's because Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the one that plays like, I think it plays Zelda one and it has its own little like Zelda game in it. And it's also a watch. Um, I've not touched it. All right. I've seen one before. So uh, yeah, I've never, gonna... I've never seen that. Um, this is a game and watch. Yeah. That's another game and watch. Uh, uh, never touched one. Uh, I Unless have... you count the electronic one like so i'm gonna i'm gonna count no i'm not gonna count it because this is rating the console itself uh-huh uh if this were games i would count it but uh i'm gonna do d because i held <laughs> one of the original game and watches and these things are so fucking uncomfortable i, oh, they're, I they're great they're for squares. the time they're amazing for the time but the issue is Times have caught up to them. <laughs> yeah. Game Boy SP. Game Boy SP is an A tier. <laughs> yeah, <I mean. laughs> thank you. But it's so good. It's, it's just the superior Game Boy Advance. Yeah, yeah. Game Boy Advance, I would put B. Yeah. Um, the the reason I rank the SP so much higher is because of the screen. Backlit. Um, yeah. Yeah, the backlit screen was a lot better. Uh. I will say I think the advance was more comfy to hold. Yeah. Um, because it was, you know, wider, you had more spots to put your hand. Yep. But everything else it was uh, rounded. Yep, everything else about the SP is just superior. It really is. Um so yeah, sick. I'm glad we agreed. I remember I played my Game Boy SP so much that the battery shot out on it. And that was back in the day where like we didn't really have Amazon at the time to get a replacement. So I was just kind of screwed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, man. It was just like, you got to go buy a new Game Boy, kid, and you don't got money. <laughs> I wish I would have held on to my Game Boy Advance. The one I had is worth a lot of money now. Yeah. It was a 1.0. Oh, nice. Most of most of these I I, I had on launch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I, was, uh, I, was, I wasn't into sports and shit. So my mom, the money she set aside for me to do, like, football for football gear and shit, I just got game consoles yeah uh, i was i was very blessed in that sense game yeah. game boy color i would put in b personally i could agree with that game boy color could be that um it was backwards compatible with the original game boy games uh game boy color was the first uh color console um except yeah. for except for like uh, not console a uh, portable console um and it, it was just nice i i really enjoyed it personally yeah Never even heard of this. Uh, I think it's so, Game Boy Light. Yeah, the Game Boy Light is literally a Game Boy with a built-in backlight. Oh, shit. Um, yeah. Was it a good backlight? I don't know. Because... I never played one. I might want to... I might... It was only released in Japan. Gotcha. Because I might want to swap... Now... I I'm trying to see uh, according to this website i'm reading it says that they've seen a few in the wild and they were extremely unimpressed 
The backlight didn't help visibility that much, and the screen isn't as sharp as the original Game Boy. All right, then I'd put it C, personally. <laughs> Actually, no, I've never played it. I'm an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> it could be different. You never know. Um, right. Game Boy Macro. Never never held a Game Boy Macro in uh, my life. F. F. Anyone who <laughs> anyone who likes these things are are actually insane. That it is the size of a Game Boy Advance game, and people love these fucking things. And I don't understand. They're so small. It's uncomfy. So. The Game Boy Advance already fits in an average pocket, so I don't know what the fucking market was for this thing. There is one thing I will give this credit for. Um, I like I said, I've never touched it, so I can't give it. But I've seen an Austin Evans video where, through various um, bullshittery, uh, they got that to be the display for a PS4. Jesus fucking Christ! It's hilarious looking, dude. It was upside down, but everything worked correctly. <laughs> it was that small. It's a slight exaggeration, but let's let, let me show you guys. Uh, Game Boy Micro is terrifyingly small. Uh, let's see. Um, comparison. If I type that in, it might show me what I'm looking for. Um, yeah, yeah, this is... Uh, oh, sorry, Micro. I typed in Macro. Yeah, you want the Micro. Yeah, yeah. Well, here's the Macro to the Micro. Yeah. Um, and the macro you can see on that picture two to the oh wait no right in the middle you have a good uh next to the one that you have this one um it, no it's uh to the oh, left this. right there yeah, yeah. perfect yeah yeah that's, that's a perfect one right there that's how small it is chat it's dude my exaggeration wasn't far off it's literally the size of a cartridge because look at this if you scroll up yep. like this is where the cartridge would start yep and it is people like... fucking love this thing dude I don't understand why. Oh, it's I'll so move. tiny. There we go. Yeah, I don't get it, but people love it. Um, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it's a nostalgia thing. I don't know. I don't know. Um, the original Game Boy. The original Game Boy is a solid C for me. Yeah, I, is. I would put it D, but it did... I mean, it was the first portable console. It's the granddaddy, you know. It's it, there. There's a reason it's not. It, it's as bad as it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's because it's the first one, so it started the trend, and I adore it. I think this next one's the Game Boy Pocket. Uh yes. Let me double check, but I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, Game Boy Pocket's really cool. Um, yeah, yeah, it is. Have you played one of these? I've never played a Game Boy Pocket. It's pretty cool. Um, I mean, it's it's small. Obviously, it's a pocket. But I'm yeah. let me see if I can... Okay, I'll admit, that one that's there that's all red, playing Pokemon Red, that was really cool looking. Let's see <laughs> a size comparison. I think you got it right oh, there it's right... with the green background. Oh, yeah, right here. So here's the size yeah. comparison. Like it's not okay. the screen's the same size, like yeah. uh, it's just the it's less a uh, less bulky, um, yeah. And these things, like Value says, he he said his still his still works. These things are durable as fuck. Yeah, um, I will say the original Game Boys are too because I have one that still works. Yeah, th those are two. These these were like a whole nother level, and yeah. I and it was on accident. Yeah. Um. I can't. I like that speaker design better too. Yes. The uh, so the only complaint I have with this one is where the speaker sits. If you have fat hands, the uh, butt of your yeah, thumb you cover it. Sits there. Yeah. But if you have an average size hand, this is it's like the perfect design. Um, <laughs> AKA you don't have Levi hands. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, I'm I. <sighs> I want to put it in C still. Uh-huh. Because uh it's I don't think it's as good as the Game Boy Color. That's up to you cuz I've never held one. That so. being said, I want it to be known that I think it's better than the original Game Boy. <laughs> but I think the original Game Boy does not deserve the disrespect of being in the same category as a Game and Watch console. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, so let me let's real quick get through some of these handhelds other than okay. the switch because okay. uh we can fly through these real quick and mm -hmm. uh, a lot of these the consoles i speak more on and i can rant about it more right um so we've got whatever the fuck this is um i don't know what that is does anyone know this <laughs> uh is it like a pokemon tamagotchi it looks like a it looks like I think the yellow one is a Pokemon Tamagotchi. Let me double check. I want to. Oh, yeah, the yellow one literally is. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know what this is. It looks like a, it like like you said. It looks like a Tamagotchi almost. So. Um, let's see. Uh, Pocket Nintendo console. Oh, wow. Well. That's that's a, <laughs> that's a homebrew thing. Let me look up Nintendo handheld consoles and see what I find. Yeah, because I'm I'm curious. Nintendo handhelds obscure. List of Nintendo handhelds. There's a McDonald's DSi. You didn't know that. There's a Pokemon Mini that looks like one of those things we saw. I mean, it probably is the Pokemon Mini. Yeah. Pokemon yeah, mini I actually there. just found it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's a Pokemon Mini. I've never, never held one. And I'm assuming you haven't either. Nope. Uh, I did have a Tamagotchi though. Pokemon Tamagotchi. Never had a Tamagotchi. Um, Pokemon Tamagotchi is better than regular Tamagotchi because it has uh, the directional arrows and stuff. Uh, Tamagotchi still suck. I was waiting for me <laughs> to be like, Pokemon Tamagotchi is better than regular Tamagotchi because it has Pikachu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we ignoring the game library, just rating the system itself. I would like to. Um, Unless we have like a revolutionary game that someone brings up that like and could change my entire opinion of a console. A lot of the game library though can be negated though because if you're like... Unless you're bringing up obscure games that aren't ported at all. Yeah. If someone goes, I can play Mario on the Game Boy. Like, I can play Mario Land. I can play Mario Land on the 3DS. Like, <laughs> I can play Mario on every console. It's <laughs> I can play Mario on my phone. Do we want to include my phone as the greatest Nintendo console? Like, <laughs> So this is Super Mario Game & Watch, right? Yes. Uh, that was I, the first new Game & Watch that they've made. I uh, have held one of these. Have you? Yeah. What does it do? <laughs> it plays Mario. Okay, it plays well, is it the, like original? the original Mario. Yeah. Okay. I mean, as far as I know, it could have done more. Um, it, I didn't really see it get to like play it for very long. Um, yeah. I went to a uh, there's a like a retro game store near here, okay. and they have a lot of weird stuff, and they had one of these. Okay. And uh, the guy was like, "Do you want to check it?" I was like, "Yeah, I've never seen it before." Like, I've heard about them. Um, that other Tamagotchi thing, I don't even know. Like, wait. Never mind. So, this is the Pokemon Mini. What's that, then? Uh, I I don't know. Because look, look at, like, this Pokemon Mini. Maybe. It, then... I mean, at the, at the very least, it's just a Tamagotchi like thing. So, yeah. And plus, we've never if played we don't it. Know, so. I have never played a Virtual Boy, but I've seen one physically, and it looked uncomfortable. Yeah, I've never played, but I want to give it an F just because of how it looks. Yeah, <laughs> but it, I it, can't. It looks spine contorting to try and play it because you either had to play it laying down or you had to play it sitting at a table leaning forward. Okay, so now we're starting to get to consoles. Yeah. Um, and I and I want to. <laughs> I want to do a little thing here where I'm going to say that the handhelds and the consoles shouldn't be comparable. They're two completely different be. markets. Um, yeah. So with these, I want us to try to ignore what we have in here. Because so if I give here's... if I give the GameCube like an A, for example, the yeah. 3DS XL is not as good as the GameCube. It's, it's objectively not. <laughs> Why don't we do this? Why don't you, like, 
is it possible for you to like save this as it is now and like download it and then we can move all those off of there and then do home console oh uh, yeah i'm cool with that okay because then we have three different lists right there sick yeah it'll just take me a second to move these down but tell me how you feel about the gamecube um the gamecube is everything that i loved about this nintendo 64 but better <laughs> yeah um so uh, i my personal opinion uh you can you can say whatever you want about it my personal opinion is it's an s tier console i don't have a single complaint about the gamecube Oh, for sure. The GameCube is one of, if not in my personal opinion, it's definitely one of Nintendo's best consoles they've ever made. Sick. Um, but here's the thing. I need to say, I think we should put it in A tier. Okay, what's, what's your reasoning here? The next thing on the list. Do you know what this is? I can't really see it that well. What is it? This is... Let me let me pull it up. Uh, Panasonic. This is called the Panasonic GameCube. Um, Wait, I've heard about this. So, chat, for those who don't know what this is, I need to, t I need to explain how this thing came to be. This weird thing. The disk drive in the GameCube was made by Panasonic, the DVD company. They, they make DVD readers. Um... Uh, Kat, it doesn't surprise me you've owned this because I'm pretty sure the retail release was only in Japan. Um, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But, uh, Panasonic made the disk drive for the GameCube and they got exclusive rights. They're the only company to ever do this with Nintendo. They got the rights to release one of Nintendo's consoles in their own way. So this is a GameCube that is also a DVD player. I want one of these so bad. Um, they are really cool and really high, like want wanted collectors items. I've been looking for one for a long time, actually. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it has this little screen. It all of these light up. God, that looks so, so cool. I've seen these before. That that one picture that's there, the guy sitting like right in behind it. Yeah. I've watched his video about it. It's so freaking cool. So this is why I think this should be S and the regular GameCube should be A. Honestly, yeah, because it's just a better version of the GameCube. <laughs> I'm really happy you agree, because that it's such a stupid thing, but Yeah. Um yeah, so the, Panasonic is the only company that has ever released a, a Nintendo console that's not published by Nintendo, but licensed by Nintendo. It's a crazy yeah. fact. It's an insane and fact. <laughs> it's so weird because Sony could have been that if they went through, through with their original plan for the SNES. Yeah, and <laughs> what's really, really fucking weird about it is Sony makes more sense than Panasonic. Yep. <laughs> but that doesn't fit my mini screen attachment for the game. Okay, so here's here's the one flaw, but also not with that. Because they kept the same GameCube, um, they kept the same GameCube and just added to it. It can hold all of the other attachments, but features of the console get in the way. Let me pull it up again, because I want I want to explain to you guys what I mean. Um, these things as long as you so can hold cool. the Game Boy Player. Uh, so <laughs> it it can, but but you see these legs here. Yeah. I know it's really small for you right now, but these yeah. legs don't come off. So the attachment okay. for the Game Boy Player is there. You have one of two options. You get an adapter, and it's and the Game Boy Player sits next to it. Okay. Or you shave off those legs. <laughs> that that's that's a genuine thing homebrewers tell you to do. That's hilarious. Because it still has the clips on the bottom that hold it in place. It has yeah. all of the attachment like ports and shit. It's the nice. same insides, just with a DVD player on top nice that's why like in this picture right that's here so cool it's bigger yeah that's it's, just it's so fucking cool i it's the only thing that's like super cool about nintendo history that i know yeah. super well because i love the story i literally took my dad's ups and used it to play gamecube on a bus trip 
ruin the UPS though? The the what the UPS? Is it is it like a mini like like a generator? Because I'm thinking United Postal Service. <laughs> I can't get it out of my head. And your dad doesn't oh own the God. United Postal Service. I'll tell you that. And if he does, you better start donating. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Uninterruptible power supply. Oh, that's fucking sick. That's actually fucking sick. Uh, I, I, The closest I ever did was have a Game Boy on the bus before anyone else. N64. <laughs> I think the N64 should be A tier because and but here's the thing the GameCube is better than the Nintendo 64 but as we've said before something walks so something else could run yeah and I think it deserves that credit I agree yeah I, I not agree. to mention the 64 is one durable motherfucker yeah yeah <laughs> I've watched I've watched a um, TV like one of the box TVs fall on one of those and yep. it worked the tv broke I, yeah <laughs> i've seen people run these bitches over and they plug it in and it works do you consider the expansion pack an upside or a downside you mean the uh the pack you have to replace in the front of the console i think that's an upside because it allowed people to do more intense things with the n64 and we wouldn't have gotten games like donkey kong 64 with that without that oh yeah and i honestly think i think it sucks that they couldn't have done it on launch for the n64 um like obviously it would have been better to just have it on launch yeah but sometimes shit like that has to happen we get console updates daily i don't think one update in a con in this console's life cycle is really a bad thing personally right the one drawback i have with this console is the uh the like two games that required a memory card yeah that go went in the back of the controller and the reason i hated that is because uh one of those two games was rayman 2 uh and i adored that game but there is a point in the game you can't get past unless you save because it's oh. a tutorial okay so i only ever played the first 10 percent of that game and it's one of my favorite n64 games <laughs> i've actually never played a rayman game dude <laughs> i'm so mad at you <laughs> I'm so angry. Dude, Rayman's so fucking good. <laughs> alright, alright, so it's, you need to play Rayman 3. Okay. Um, and the reason being is because you're gonna be confused, you're gonna be upset, and you're not gonna know what's going on. Hey, but it's so <laughs> funny and so fun. Um and it you wanna know the worst part is if you play the other games, it's not gonna help. It, it, those games are so confusing. <laughs> That's great. But, uh, no, yeah, I recommend. All right, so this is the NES. Uh, we're going to do the NES first, and then we'll do its um, its recent counterpart. The <laughs> emulator. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, think, I think the NES should be a D, personally. A D? Yes. I think okay. the controller is miserable. Yes, I is. think uh, the console had a lot of issues and I understand it's the first like big at home console so obviously it was going to have issues I'm not expecting it to be perfect but quality wise it was not a good console in my opinion um, and it, it since we're, we're not including uh, the game library but I do want to say that the uh, this console single-handedly destroyed the gaming market for a while before it could even start because there was such an influx flooding of games yeah. made for it. Because they, they made like hundreds of sports games in a year, I believe. Yeah, there was there was a lot of like there's baseball and then there's this version of baseball and then this version of baseball. Yeah, this <laughs> game single-handedly crashed the gaming market before it could start and that's why i think it deserves d and i would put it f if um it didn't start something beautiful i can agree to a d um value you have a good night you have a good night it was good seeing you thank you for stopping by now this i would put at a c 
this yeah, little emulator. It's just, it's just a curated list of games built into the SE, uh, the, the NES shell, and you don't have to worry about a lot of the technical pitfalls of it. Yeah, yeah, that, that's why I enjoy this thing. Also, um, this is, I mean, this isn't really like a, the ability of homebrewing Oh, for sure. On this makes it very easy. So for sure, I I, I agree. The only real that. downside to it is just the controller because they had yeah. to go for accuracy. Again, so. it, it, I hate the controller of this console, but you know that was a necessary evil with this. Um, yeah, I don't know what the fuck this is. I can't even like it's orange and there's gold. Yeah, it, it says TV game fifteen. I think uh, TV game fifteen. Let me see if this comes up. No, yeah. Uh, wow. This this is it. Holy shit! I have seen this. Nintendo made this. This is a Nintendo product. This looks like a fucking like Coleco or something like that. Oh yeah, I guess. Yeah, Nintendo must have made, like, their version of a ColecoVision. Wait, like Coleco or an Atari? Like, that's what this looks like. Yeah, th these are the detachable controllers from the Coleco. Like, it's huh. it's, it's it's just a ripoff. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we've never played it, but I would probably yeah. give it an F if I did yeah, play I'd it. Yeah, I'd give it an F. Like, <laughs> I'm mad at that now. <laughs> uh, Switch. Uh, oh, this is the Switch OLED and the regular Switch. Um, and, and I'll move the Switch there. light. Yeah, that's a switch light. Um, I mean, I'd say OLED S. I'm gonna give a quick synopsis. Um, I would say OLED S switch. I would still put it at an S because the differences are negligible. It depends on what uh -huh. you what you want out of it. The light, I would give a, a B. I agree with that 100. percent Okay, cool. Because <laughs> here's here's my thing with uh, the light. I don't like the I don't like the idea of not having the option to dock it. I understand some people love that, but uh -huh. also it has the worst battery life and the worst screen screen from the original Switch. Yep. So like, at that point, just get an OLED and never dock it. You know. Yeah. Like, um, the Switch OLED. Even though I I hate to say it now, because even though it's the most superior version of the Switch. It and I hate saying this, it's technically the Switch Pro until they decide to make a Switch Pro. Yeah, and once they um, decide to make a Switch Pro, I'm going to be broke. Um, yeah, um, the base Nintendo Switch is fantastic as far as I'm concerned. As far as the few setbacks it has compared to other consoles, it is revolutionary in its own sense. Nintendo isn't in competition with anybody. They don't look at anyone else's competition. They're just like, they're doing their own shit. We're over here doing our own shit. Yeah. So Yeah, 100%, I agree. Um, And then the Switch Lite, I just don't like the Switch Lite. The Switch Lite is the kid's tablet version of yeah. the Nintendo Switch. I hate it. <laughs> like, yeah. Also, its size difference is something to talk about. It, it's, yeah. The Switch already is hard to hold in portable mode without a grip. And so when you yeah. get the Switch Lite, which is even worse. Exactly. Um, I do recommend if you do have that issue, go to Satisfy Grips and get yourself a grip. Satisfy <laughs> gave me a free one, so I'm going to promote the shit out of them. Although they right. didn't give me the blacked out one. <laughs> they released Wait, that mean... after. <laughs> you mean the one I have? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to burn your house down um all right if i had like 90 bucks dude i would have got their whole bundle thing <laughs> dude i i do have the case bundle i'm really blessed that they sent me everything they did i did not deserve that um so are there three versions of the wii on here uh yes yeah, so let me let me explain these wii's um i don't know what this one is i should say the red and black one is like a dumbed down version of the Wii. I know that much. Gotcha. It doesn't have GameCube compatibility. It has like less uh, internal memory, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's it's a super dumbed down version of the Wii. Gotcha, have you played it? I've never played it myself. All I right. just know that it's a dumbed down version. Uh, this white one is the one with GameCube compatibility. This one is the one without. 
Okay. Well, the one with game compatibility is better. Like it just yeah, is. Yeah. Um, it allows you more options. <laughs> I would put the Wii at a B, and I would put the other one at a C. Personally, I can agree with that. The Wii is uh, the one Nintendo home console I have the least experience with. Uh, so here's here's my reasoning. Um, cause we're not looking at game libraries. If we were looking at game libraries, I think I'd put it at an A, maybe an S. Um, okay. but it's just, since we're just looking at the console itself, it's revolutionary. It, yeah. it did a lot. Like it introduced the idea of motion controls, which is huge. Um, but the base controller for any game that didn't use motion was uncomfy. It, it okay. did not feel good. I think the 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 user interface is garbage which <laughs> this is the era where user user interfaces started to matter yeah because the gamecube was the first nintendo console to have one but y you only saw it if you didn't have a disc in it okay um because that was the cube where you flip it and it's like you can look at your memory and stuff like that this was the first console where when you booted it up, it didn't take you directly to the game. There was a home menu. Yeah. Um, well, this was the first Nintendo console to do it. Um, I think technically the first one was an Xbox. Okay. Um, but so it's it, so... it changed the gaming industry, but all in all, like the console's all right. So really quickly, because I, I looked it up just to know the specifics of this. Technically, the two Wii's that we have on the list that are in like uh, spots are both the same Wii. Um, just the blue one is just a light blue variant that they released later. So you're right to say, you know, white one is the one with GameCube. And the I blue just assume because the white one, uh, the Wii, the first Wii didn't launch yeah. with multiple colors. It yeah. was just white. So the red and black one, <laughs> when I say dumbed down, um, it had no SD card slot, and it did not have internet access whatsoever. Oh, wow. So it was literally it is, just play a Wii game. It's baby's first video game console it, when it like, came to that. It's just <laughs> play a Wii game. Don't get virtual console and shit. Literally. Oh, oh, that's another reason why uh, this goes in B, is uh, virtual console was invented here. Yeah. Without virtual, virtual console, console, this would be C and D, in my opinion. Also, it gets a little tick up for having the ability to have apps that weren't games on there so you could yep. put like netflix on there or youtube yep uh also home brewing like this has the wii <laughs> has a great ecosystem but yeah. it gets really brought down by the fact that like the controller was bleh, the so the user interface is garbage fun little tidbit about me um you know those uh charlie uh, candy mountain uh youtube videos yeah um, I watched those for the first time ever on a Wii. <laughs> oh, wow. And someone showed me those at like one in the morning. And I went from being very confused to getting to the uh, Millipede video and <laughs> screaming, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I felt like I did shrooms. <laughs> yeah. Candy Mountain, Charlie. Oh, Charlie, my God. We got to go to Candy Mountain. Oh, uh, classic. All right. All right. The SNES. I have a lot the I can SNES, say. So do I. Um, if I'm just going to, before I say anything, I think it's an A tier. Um, personally. I personally put it at S. Oh, my only thing is... I liked the GameCube better than the SNES. And if I put SNES at S tier, then I think GameCube should be in an S tier. But then again, the Panasonic one's up there. Um, fuck it, SNES is S tier. <laughs> it dude, just is. It was my favorite controller. Yeah. Until the, un this, is, this is sad to say, until the Switch Pro Controller. Oh God! That Nintendo did. Yeah. Um, but it was also my favorite controller until uh, the uh, the original DualShock came out. Yeah. Um, 
and Xbox controllers have never been on that list. Cry about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Which is so weird because they've become the standard. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a shame, but whatever. Sony did their controller better. Um, how yeah. do you feel about the Super Nintendo emulator one? If the original is an S tier, the emulator is an S tier. For a straight fact for me. See, I would put it at A tier. Um, and it's Why? the same reason I knocked the Wii down a bit. The UI of the emulator is fucking miserable. Even when you homebrew it yourself, it it ends up being miserable to sort through. I haven't yeah, yeah, I haven't played it in a while, so I can't say I remember the UI off the top of my head. I, I, I'm just going straight off the fact that it's basically just an SNES that you just have to navigate a menu to get to a game. That's all. No, yeah, but I will say I will say too, it's very limited in what it comes with. But I will I will concede to put it in S. But I want to say that that UI is miserable. I, okay, I can get I can get that. I think this last one we will disagree on. <laughs> I think we will. Okay. Um, what is your opinion? on the Wii U. I think the Wii U gets a lot of flack that it should get. I think the Wii U, it's a misguided attempt at what they ended up doing with the Switch. But I don't think the Wii U is as bad as people make it out to be. It is effectively a a Wii on steroids with a fucking TV controller. (laughs) Um... I would say that that being said though, it, it doesn't get as much flat or it gets too much flack that it shouldn't. But it, in my opinion, it's probably on the same list as the Wii, so it's probably a B for me. This is an S console. An S console. This really? this console itself is an S. So here's here's the thing. This took the virtual console and put it on fucking steroids. Uh, I'm not talking about the games library itself, but the way the games ran. It, it this ver- this version of Virtual Console is the closest to actual console hardware that emulation has ever gone. Um, the homebrewing scene is fucking insane for this console. I won't get too deep into that, but let's just say you can run anything from this console. <laughs> um. And then let's talk about the gamepad for it is fucking genius, in my opinion. Because, first of all, if you don't like it, it still takes uh, it still takes the Wii controller. So if you prefer the uh-huh. Wii controller, you can hold that. I don't know why you would. Uh, this gamepad is, like, the same shape, a little off, but the same shape as the Steam Deck. The gamepad is, uh, I will say this, it's surprisingly comfortable. It is so insanely comfortable and everything is reachable. Um, Mm -hmm. And one thing I loved about the gamepad for this console is every single game that was made for the Wii U, granted there weren't a lot of them, uh, Mm -hmm. (laughs) you were able to switch between playing on the TV and the gamepad. So like on Zelda, you could have your map and your inventory ready. Mm -hmm. And you just look down, click and drag, and you're in. Which made Wind Waker an insanely great, easy experience. Yeah. Um, Mario Maker was absolutely perfect on the Wii U. Yes. Yes, that's another thing. Um, Games like Mario Maker where you can click and drag. um, Menuing on the Wii U was amazing. But every single game, you could do that. Or you could play the entire game from the gamepad. Mm -hmm. Uh, You could press a button, and it would switch from TV and gamepad to gamepad only. This was the first actual console that I could turn on gamepad only and turn on the TV and sit and play with background noise. So my only ding I will say as far as the tablet is the console relied so much on the tablet that if you had a problem with your tablet, if it broke somehow, you had to get that replaced because you just really couldn't use your Wii U after that. True, but I could argue that about the Switch too, mostly because the console is the tablet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but but that's the thing. 
the Wii U was like it's a it's a tablet or it's a console and then you get this tablet controller but if the controller breaks you can't use your console like well let me ask you this how would you play on your console without the controller fair but i can still Checkmate turn on my atheist. console and have it <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Um I I could settle on an A. I could settle on it an A. It will hurt me to not put this in S, but I will put it in A. But I won't put it in the same category as the Wii. I I would yeah, no, don't I, put it I, in the same category. Okay, so Wii. here's here I will offer you two options. I will give uh-huh. you your B if we move both versions of the Wii down a bit, or we go A. Given an A. Okay. And I'll say given an A just because I remember 100% completing Hyrule Warriors on my Wii U. Yes. <laughs> yes, dude. I, uh... No, yeah, I, I adored the Wii U, and I will defend it until the day I die. It had terrible marketing, but other than that, the really console, was, console was amazing. And people who didn't own it, I feel like everyone who didn't own it are the are the people who shit talk it. I'll say this now: you know that the game library was good on the Wii U because they ported half of it to the Switch. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> dude. And plus, it had the it had the best Pikmin game. Yeah, well, which you know, makes it an S tier. You know, good Pikmin game is like a bad any other game. So <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna you're gonna play Pikmin. I'm gonna throw Pikmin. Is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> it's such a good game. It's such a good game. It blows my mind. Levi's gonna be like, I'm gonna make you play Pikmin, and I'm just gonna stand in one spot throwing Pikmin into the water or something like that. Oh <laughs> just going God. like, fuck them. <laughs> well, chat. There's the link if you guys decide to make them. Like I said, I'm gonna be posting these tomorrow on Twitter and in Discord. I'd love to see your guys' lists as well. 